Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at mail merge in Pages. So one of the things computers have done for more than half a century is the mail merge. This is where you take a list of names and addresses and you can use a program like a word processor to print out either envelopes with one name and address on each envelope or letters replacing the name at the beginning of the letter with one of the names from the list. So you can have one letter and then print out say thousands of copies of it, each one with its own heading with a different name in it. So you can do this in iWork Pages as well. Let me show you how. So when we run Pages, we're given the template chooser and we can choose a blank document. But in this case, let's jump right to using letters or envelopes. Starting with envelopes, we'll just pick a traditional envelope here, choose it, and then we'll get to see this simple envelope document with some sample text in there. Now, if we wanted to print out, say, a whole bunch of envelopes based on a list, we would do that using the edit mail merge option. Then it asks us to choose a source. There's two different sources you can choose, either your address book or a numbers document. So if you choose your address book, obviously you'll be using addresses that are in your address book. Let's try that. Now we can merge this to a new document. So we'll create a new document where each page is a different address, or we can simply send it directly to the printer. We also can choose to substitute uh, the closest match here. So for instance, uh, use a work address if a home address is missing. Things like that that you can play around with. So let's check off merge and we'll see we're going to get a document here with five pages. And the first one's going to have an address in here. It's the sample address included with address book for Apple. And then we've got some other addresses that are in there and it's a sample address book so I don't have complete addresses so we're just putting the names there. Now we could instead do a mail merge using a numbers document. I've got a numbers document right here. As you can see I've just put three names in it and I've labeled the fields pretty clearly at the top, last name, first name, etc. So I'm going to use that instead. So I'll do edit mail merge and I'll choose numbers document. It'll ask me to select the numbers document, so I'm going to do so. There it is. And it's going to come up with this list of fields here and what it should map to. So what I want to do is uh, map, say, the street to the field name street. It's looking for one called work street. So I want to note that for later on that I could actually call a field work street and it will be able to grab it right away. I can map work state to state, work zip to zip, and when I have nothing else that's red here on the right, then I have a complete uh, set of data. I choose merge, it merges into a new document. So how does Pages know where to substitute each thing, like a name? Well, if I select it and then I go to view and I select show inspector, I can go to the links section of the inspector, which is second from the right here, there's hyperlink, bookmark, and merge. I select merge and I can see that here the first name is the this merge field here with its target as first name. I can choose the last name, title, things like that. So if I want to get rid of this title one, I can simply select that and delete it. Uh, I can also map things to different fields here in the document before I even go to the mail merge function. So I can create my own mail merge document by starting a blank document here and let's say I just type some text and where it says name I'm going to substitute the name so I'm going to select it and with the inspector open and set to the uh, link inspector merge I'm going to add plus add a merge field and I'm going to set the merge field name goes to target first name so now I've created my own document that has merges in it. I can then go to edit, mail merge, select that same numbers document and now I can merge it and I'll get three pages here, each one with the first name substituted for the word name. So you see you can actually use mail merge for more than just envelopes and letters. You can have any document you want and substitute any number of fields from a number spreadsheet to create multiple versions of that document in different pages. 
So for instance, if I was printing out evaluations, either for say students in a class or workers in a workplace, I could print out different ones with the name and evaluation scores from a numbers database into a letter format and it would print out a different page for each person with their correct name matching the scores. And there are probably a ton of other uses as well. So I hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.